Hi everyone, welcome to Colouring with Kay and thank you for joining me today. So in this video I'm going to share with you what I'm planning to colour during August 2023 and um, this is my holiday month so I am definitely hoping to colour quite a fair um, number of pages. Um, maybe I've still chosen quite a lot like um, bit enough more than I can chew possibly but um, I'll have a good go at it so Kitty says hello and let's just get started so the first book is let's start off with my favorite um, I'm hoping to color in this book now um, I want to color the pages that I really really want to color you know the ones that give me the most sort of joy and happiness so this being my favorite book um, I have well I want to color well this page here I did buy another copy of this book so I've got another copy of this book now and what I did is I scanned in the pages and this is an A5 sorry an A3 actually A3 version of this page and I'm hoping to colour this, um, probably using some alcohol markers to speed it along and then some pencil colouring on top. Um, it's not, it's just copier paper, so it's not going to withstand too much um, water. Um, so therefore I have to be a little bit careful, but the idea is that I want you to colour this then get it laminated and then put it up in my classroom because I think it would look just awesome in a um, science classroom so therefore that's my idea and also um, I'm doing this as a buddy colour with Connie um, so Connie if you're still happy to do this um, just email me or Instagram and let me know but I will be colouring this um, hoping to colour this anyway so yeah so there's there's that one that's going to take me a fair amount of time but it shouldn't really take me too long because well it might still do but we'll see but i'm hoping to get it done because i really want to color that for my classroom but anyway apart from that i also want to color another page because you know that's not a feat that's big enough i printed out this page um here onto better paper so I mean this paper's okay but it's definitely not as good as this mixed media paper um, it's not like it's got a bit of a shadow line there at the bottom but it's just hard to colour pages like this because it's such a long book it's difficult to colour it so I thought maybe I might do this page but then I thought if I don't feel like doing that page there are a couple more that I've picked out there's this one which is more like a sort of um, a Halloween type October type picture but it doesn't really matter you know if I colour it now I've still got um, the other copy of my book to colour in if I if I want to during October or this one which looks like it's um, got a lot of plants and herbs and things like that growing in different places lots of different trees and things like that so either that one that one which I still do really like this one I know it's more of a Halloween picture but I don't know I just feel like I want to do it or possibly even that one so yeah two pages probably out of this book um, and then what else so I have picked out some books that I haven't coloured in for quite a while um, obviously not the last one because that's my favourite so that doesn't count but um, this is a book that I haven't coloured in um, because it's the Asian, Rita Berman's Asian book and the Europe book that I've coloured in, you know, quite regularly. So I wanted to do one in here. So the one I chose in here was a double page. So this is what I meant about biting off more than I can chew. This is a double page as well. So I've seen this page done quite a few times and the pages are just absolutely gorgeous so I'm hoping to do this double page because I've always looked at it and thought oh I really like this page I love everything about it the reeds the flowers up here the frog the lily pad the ducks it's just 
dragonfly it's just got so many features that i really like so this is another one i will probably use watercolor in this because i think this paper can take it and look what i did here um, i've already messed this up anyway because yeah i have done this this page in another book in the separate books because this is like a compilation of the seasons so yeah that's one that i'm hoping to do and then I've got this book, which is one of my favourites, but I actually haven't coloured in this for so, like, years, we will say now. I think it's years. Um, it's such a lovely book. It's called Curious Creatures, Creative Haven. And there was actually someone on, one of the, um, one of my um, viewers or subscribers was saying how they really like this book as well. Um, and they would like a colour and chat. I will try to do it. I will try um, my best. But um, there's a few pages I've picked out. There's this one, which I quite like. There's this one, which I think is the front cover. I mean, it is single sided. It's the better creative here in paper, I think. So, you know, a little bit of watercolour will do. But yeah, I just really like this book. There's so many lovely curious creatures as it's named uh, I quite like that one as well but yeah it's gonna be difficult to choose but I'm hoping to do most of it in well I am thinking alcohol marker for parts of it so for example this one I'm not sure about alcohol markers because there's lots of different little lots of little features here and what I hate about alcohol markers is when they bleed past the line not actually bleed through the page because that doesn't matter but when they bleed past the line that sort of annoys me shouldn't really but it does what I could do is I could use crayons and then use my zestic blender I think that might be an option and then I could use some acrylic glitter for the background parts yeah well their ideas anyway curious creatures and then this I recently purchased, which is the postcard book of, it's like, I think it's the same people that make this book. Um, and I was a little bit disappointed because I just sillily assumed, sillily, if that's a word. But anyway, I don't think it is. Stupidly thought that the whole postcard will be that size because I took the front cover as being what the inside would be like. Um, and no, the the A6, the A6 versions. So you and I and I and I know that because I have some Japanese postcard books, and I know that they do um, half A6 where they've got the coloured version, and the other A6 part where you do the colouring. Um, I still, I'm, I don't regret buying it though because I am still going to colour in it because I just love the images. But they are rather small. Let me just bring you in quite a lot there they are like look at the detail there it's going to have to be fine liners um pencil for the background and fine liners pretty much with a little bit of shading here and there but it's absolutely gorgeous um like this is the one that i'm thinking of doing it's like a desk and then it's got all these amazing things around it that are so intriguing but if you want i was thinking of doing a flip of this um, if you want a proper flip, let me know um, in the description, or I might just do one anyway, because I was planning to do one, but it's just so small, but I do like detail, I do like small, but my eyes, they're getting old, well, they are old actually. Right, so, this one, I haven't coloured in for quite a while, uh, another Japanese colouring book, so I just call this the bear colouring book. But it's in the same Yururi Mouse, um, you know, family of books, shall we say. So, with this one, oops, oops I'm just open. Right, this one, I have sort of chose either this double page, which is where all the little bears are being very industrious in their, in their room and they've, you know, got the paint palette out, they've got an easel there, they've got lots of pencils paints and then the rest of their room has got it's just it's just an amazing page I love it so 
And when I look at it, I think this is going to take me forever to do, but then I think, do I want to really colour this? And I and I think, yeah, I do. And if I can't do it in the summer holidays, when am I going to try? So there's this page, and then there's this as well. This is the kitchen scene. And there's like pile high pancakes there, or pancakes piled high. Um, this is the other one that I quite like. But yeah, I think I'm going to go for this one. I don't know why but yeah I just think I'm gonna go for this one because there's more little bits and pieces and yeah I mean yeah it's a double page basically so it's gonna take me a while but it's a little bit of a bend in the book here in the page you can only feel it you can't actually see it which annoys me because um, I'm a little bit obsessive about my books but I'll live um, so yeah probably this double page or if not this double page um, if I do chicken out it'll be I still have to do one in here because I haven't coloured in here for ages um, I might decide to do a single but more than not I think I want to do a double so that's that one and then I do have um, wait a second another one that I've started which I just put on my bookshelf and I've just bought down now so this one I have and I've started it it's this double page it's in my new copy of the bunny book um, it's this one and I've already as you can see I've just started to put the neo colour down now I was thinking of I thought I could colour the whole thing and then use pan pastel or soft pastel to do the background and then I just thought, no, it'll be easier to do a watercolour background, pencil shading over the watercolour background. And then I just thought, yeah, hopefully the paper should be able to take it. I just need to be careful. Um, I probably, for these bottom bits here, I'm not going to use crayon, I think. I think I'm going to use um, the Albert Dura watercolour pencils so I'll probably use them just so that it's easier to get in between all the little bits and pieces um, easier than crayons but I have been I'll just show you I have been sharpening the crayons and you do lose precious pigment but which you can keep but yeah um, yeah I think I'm just going to use pencil for the bottom bits I could put some on the palette and then just pick it up with a palette and then just paint on which is the other option but I'll see but yeah this is one that I've already started that double page so you can see I've chosen quite a lot of double pages hence the phrase bitten off more than I can chew because in the bear book as well I've chosen that double page there is this double page as well which is absolutely gorgeous I love the house it's like a beautiful house in the countryside but yeah so yes there's a lot of double pages I'm thinking of doing here and then there's another Japanese book so all of these books I've chosen all these Japanese books I'm gonna go according I'm gonna go for sorry the hashtag let me get this right hashtag color Asia August 2023 for Erica's Elm Colors here on YouTube's hashtag for this month August do check it out such a fun hashtag and I was so pleased that I could take part because I, I don't really take part in many hashtags and this one was just right up my street so I thought yes definitely so here's another one I think Eric actually showed this one this book as well or something like this she showed um, she showed a few Japanese books now the one I'm thinking of doing is this dragon it's a single page this time so it should be doable and it just is so cute I like colouring dragons and this one's just a cute dragon so yeah I'm hoping to do that one I think it looks really nice the paper's quite good um, should be able to take a little bit of watercolour but we'll see and then I did purchase the Seasons um, Colouring Heaven collection and um, I really liked it I think I saw a flip of this um, I can't remember whose channel but I was really pleased to see it and because it was you know I don't really I'm, I don't subscribe because 
I don't really colour people and generally they have quite a lot of people in their magazines in terms of, you know, the themes. But this one, Seasons, was just totally up my street. And the one I've chosen, or the ones, obviously a summer one, I mean I quite like this one. I have to say that's gorgeous. The paper is really quite thin, which doesn't impress me, but... I'm sure I can work with it. There's this page which I really like, um, but I'm already doing that Rita Berman page, which is quite similar to this. So I thought I'd, I'd do this one because we are um, on our holes. We're going to um, Wales and there's gorgeous beach there. And yeah, this sandcastle page just was one that stuck out to me, just as something to remind me of summer 2023 so I'm more than likely going to do this one I think and probably a soft pastel background but yeah I'm hoping to build some sandcastles um, because I've got you know a sandcastle kit and I know I'm very old for that but you know you have to act like a child teachers are pretty much like children anyway um, anyway basically I won't go off on one but that will remind me of my summer 2023 and there's no law against building sandcastles what no matter what age you are at something fun to do it's creating at the end of the day so this book which was from you know the lovely book depository which i'm still sad about and i'm sure many of you are but this book is so stunning again I've not coloured in it. I don't know what it is that stops me from colouring in that. I mean, I have done a few practice bits. Because at the front, you've got a few practice bits. I think I used Arteza... Was it the real Arteza brush pens for this? And I'm quite impressed with how the Arteza brush pens work. They, they work quite well. There was no bleed through, because, of course, this is beautiful watercolour paper. And the one that I have chosen... I have got one in my... Actually, there's a couple that are in my head of what I want to do. There's this one, which is Home Sweet Home. I love the fact that you've got the inspiration there on that side of the page. So there's this one, which is gorgeous, and the little dot there. And there's this one, which is the front page, which colour do you like? So yeah, I'm hoping to do one of, one of those. Probably won't take this book away with me, though. I'll probably take the Japanese books for the double pages. Um, and then next it's Worlds of Wonder, which is one of my favourite books as well. And the page I've chosen, I think, that I'm going to do is this one, which is um, the castle in the tree. Now, you can see that I've coloured on the other side here. That was last summer. Uh, last summer, when we went on our holidays, I completed this. Um really quite pleased with that actually so you can see there's some I think there's some bleed through here I don't even know what it is I don't even know if it came from this side but anyway um, I have got another copy of this book which is here because it was only five pounds um, from B&M I think so I'm gonna do you know my favorite books I, I get two copies of um, I think I'm gonna do that one yeah I think my heart is set on that one um, so yes, that's that one. And then a book that I haven't coloured in again for a year or two or three, I don't know, but definitely over a year. Drum and Vanga, and this is my second copy, and this is the page that I want to do. This is the castle page, and it's just like it's just like a fantasy castle. Just amazing. So this I want to with the Johanna book, The Worlds of Wonder Castle, it's going to be more of a fun one. But with this, it's going to be more, you know, working on pencil technique, working on making it look quite sophisticated because it looks like a really sophisticated castle. So, yeah, that's the one I'm hoping to do in Drum and Vanga. I would have liked to have done this page. Again, this double. But with the other double pages I've chosen, I don't think it's going to happen. And then last but not least, another um, Asian artist book, Kanoka Igusa. 
Symphony of Cute Animals. I really, really hope I can do a page in here because it's not coloured in and the pages in this book are so stunning. It's going to be hard picking a page. I have sort of got an idea of which page I want to do. It is this one. Although I'm not 100% sure, but I do really like this page the pond page I think it's really really pretty similar to the one in Rita Berman again so I'm thinking maybe do that another occasion and pick something else but there is another one there's this one which I really like which is just flowers and I haven't coloured a page where there's just flowers and I could make it my own you know in terms of I can make them whatever colours I like I know they'll have set colours because it's you know different flowers but but I can do them whatever colour I want I guess so yeah possibly this one and that's it so yes I'm planning on not sleeping in August I'm planning on just colouring away day and night don't need to eat don't need to do anything else just need to colour um, not, of course not but yeah that's what I'm hoping anyway I'm hoping to do as many pages as I possibly can and anything I don't get done I hopefully can move on to September so until next time guys take care happy coloring bye